Wakey, wakey, my baby. I just got back from class's trip this morning and I'm taking a little nap at 8 a.m. It's 9. It's 9 o'clock. You won't sleep tonight if you stay asleep. I want some tacos. <laughs> Let's go get tacos. Let's get up and go get tacos. Yeah. Good morning. We're Good morning. gonna have coffee first and then we'll be right with you, I promise. I promise. We'll be right there. Here's the waiting room music. He's ready, so that means we're ready to attack this day. Whoa, Grab it! So violent. Okay, now we're ready to take on this day. Take on the day. Okay, what are we doing today? We're gonna we have a whole list. We've read it all down yeah. on the whiteboard. We're erasing the whiteboard and we're starting new because we're leaving in two weeks. Max. Yep, you heard that right. Two weeks, guys. Max. Manu. Max. <laughs> A lot to get done, but we're getting closer to the goal, which is to get to the Bahamas, get to, the get to Turks and Caicos, Dominican Republic. Here we come. We're gonna cool the fuel tank cleaner. Uh, he'll come and pump out our diesel. All this. We don't know how long that diesel's been sitting there, so it probably has, you know, what is it called, sweated. There's probably some nasty stuff in there. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna, we gotta test our old Garmin. So, it's in here, right? Yeah. Where are you? There's an old Garmin that we're gonna test. Let's see if we can connect it to our AIS. GPS map 545. I don't know if it does or not. This was out, when we bought the boat, this was just sitting out. Look at what's happened here. Next thing we're gonna do today, our neighbor, maybe the second week of us having this boat, because there was no one next to them for so long, when they came in, they basically sheared off one of our life rails with their anchor, which is like sticks out really far of their boat, which we'll, you'll see there. It's yes. not their fault, it happens. Um, you know, everyone makes mistakes, and they, I guess they were just used to not having a boat next to them for yeah. so long. And we turn up one day. Um, okay, back here. Eyes back here. We're gonna replace our sheet clutch, we're gonna replace our pulleys. So the first step of today is calling to rent a car because we took an Uber yesterday and we waited at the <coughs> supermarket for 20 minutes. And it, it cost us $20. Uh, it cost us $20 to go two miles. So we're not doing that. We're back. We've had a long day, kind of an inefficient day because really? we would drive. I mean, we did a lot of stuff, but it was just like- it's so much. Splicing, Crazy. done. <laughs> Cheat clutch, jib line, rent a car. and rent a car. Okay, so stuff we still should do today is call the life rail, find out if they can come fix the life rail. Who, who's called We have to that? find someone, we have to, research, we have to research someone that can do it. Uh, test Garmin, we can do that. Yeah, sure. Let me, let me research the Seabrook. Hello. Hello, is this a Duran boat repair? And I'm just wondering, do you guys kind of do that kind of repairs or? Take a look at it. Okay, perfect. I'll send that over. Should I just text it to this number? Well, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. We'll be here. All right, yes, sir. Cool. See you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> send. He's gonna come tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go help Manu clean up so she doesn't feel left out. Too. I want to really get that done because it's. Okay, we need huh? to take down these guys. Yeah. Halloween's over. Halloween's over. It's time for William and Jack to go back home into the darkness of our lazarettes. Of One day this will be us. <laughs> Hopefully not with a dead baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Not yet. Oh, see, I don't trust you at all with a baby. <laughs> Look at that, she would have knocked him out. Good night! I'm gonna test to see if this works. I already showed you this morning how this messed up it is. 
So obviously we're not pros. Don't take any recommendation of ours to the letter. <laughs> we are just here to show you what we're doing. Maybe as encouragement to dare do it yourself. That's probably why we're here doing these we have films. No idea. What is encouraging is that we've also met so many people that are just as new to this as us who are taking the risk and that's also reassuring to know that a lot of people are new and can do it. So it's good. There's pros and there's beginners and everybody's kind in this community. Oh here it is. Look who it is. Mr. and Mrs. Duck on their way. Dum da da dum dum dum. Dum da da dum dum dum. How you doing buddies? What's up today? I am your mother. folks in an attempt to keeping it real we were just playing around with the Garmin trying to see if we could connect it to our AIS and it turns out that our AIS is actually not working anymore and we've been having so many problems with it and now it just doesn't show up we can't see other boats Max is a bit overwhelmed so this light is flashing green which is not good. We want it to be a steady green. Everything's a mess. The fan's a mess. Yeah. That's a mess now. When you think you're doing something smart, but you're just being an idiot. So tea is the solution. We need a little tea to decompress and uh, take a step back and analyze the problem and reassess when uh, our spirits are calm. My favorite tea at the moment is soba cha. It's a buckwheat, grilled buckwheat uh, tea. To, um, moment. Oh no, now it's flashing red. What did you do? Just reset it. Hmm. Oh, it's green. It's a steady green. Anything? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yay. Let's see. We need to test this out on the ocean. Yeah, I think it's working now. See, it's all okay, poopy face. We fixed it. He's not on Manu focus, he's on AIS focus. I think we're we're do a little sit down tea chat, babes. I know. Let's do it. Sit down tea chat and catch you up on some stuff. Are you a bit tired? Do you want to not do this now? No, let's do it now. Okay. It's been a tiring day. A long day. A good day. Flew from New York down to south of Texas. Corpus. Our our neighbor just Corpus Christi. Yeah, just finished the Harvest Moon race, and he wanted to. He invited us on his boat to sail back from uh, Corpus Christi to Kima, yeah. where we are now. It was really to give us experience doing overnighters. Yeah. Um, we call him Uncle Klaus. Yeah, we call him Uncle Klaus. And he just wanted to make sure that we were setting off sail with some knowledge of his in our brain. Mm -hmm. And so it was just basically a two day packed of information, well two nights, three days packed of information. Anyways, yeah. thanks for showing up in the comment section. Thanks for liking the videos and thanks for subscribing. It's really helpful. And it's good to see that uh, we're providing some value on YouTube. <laughs> Mwah. See you tomorrow. I love how she's drinking coffee. And filming it with the nice coffee machine because she's not gonna have it for much longer. What you just heard there is true. Unfortunately, it takes too much power. She's gotta go. It's a very sad day to announce this to you all. Cheers. Let's get this day started. Now we are going to head off to the shops. You know that kind of day where you feel like you're gonna get it done? I feel like it's that kind of day and we have a lot of things to do with all the chaos that we had in the last couple weeks. It's time to trust in the power of the to-do list. She won't fail us. We have two weeks and we're not missing this window. Okay, so obviously you just saw that uh, we're driving off with a Tesla. This was the only a uh, cheaper option at the car rental. So right now we're heading to Sticks and Riggings because um, we're giving him our old shackles. 
so that he can attach them to the halyards that we gave him that he's gonna splice because uh, it's Dyneema so we didn't want to splice it ourselves. The other thing we need to do today is call a guy that can inspect our fuel tank because our, our fuel maybe is too old or there's a condensation that Max was talking to you about yesterday and we're gonna see if he can sort it out, inspect it and, and uh, clean it out. Clean it out. Hi, uh, we got your number from uh, a neighbor of us. Okay. I will have Jim give you a call back. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, that's done. Step UPS pickup. I already said that we're gonna go pick up a bunch of your presents. It's like Christmas week. Oh, oh, I can get our pictures. So. Yeah. Got my pictures! Ah! Been waiting for this moment. Oh gosh, I wonder what it is. Oh look at you! Basically, oh it's, my a, it's God. all you. It's a photo oh shot. It's my a. God. <laughs> Never wear white, white beater on white. That literally could be like a photo <laughs> of the 70s. <Yeah. laughs> You never understand the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And these are They're precious great. memories. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, next stop, UPS. jobs we're doing right now. We're going to be putting together our cliff bars for the ditch bag. I'm testing the product. Got to make sure that, you know, this will survive. We'll survive on this. Hmm. Good consistency. Good flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Got a whole range of stuff. Are you putting you in the ditch bag? No. Why not? Well, while Manny's researching what medication our ditch bag is gonna get, I'm cooking up some uh, reheats. I'm a reheating curry. It's looking good, isn't it? Almost done, you know, guys. We've got the Hallias to do. The Bimini is gonna be done very soon. And then we just gotta replace the fridge fan. And then. And then what? We're off to the races. Hey there, um, I just have a question about my Penta engine. So our engine has no zinc anodes, which is what I kind of thought. Today. But it's gonna involve taking down the headliner to get to the bolts holding the sheet clutch onto the deck. These headliners are so old, they just peel off. I guess we're painting this room too. <gasps> it's just falling by itself. And another one of these projects that you just want to do a quick tick and it turns into a whole freaking thing. No, well, we knew about this for ages. Well, we just wanted to change the sheet clutch. And look what it's come to. <laughs> Get me my, my cutter, please, baby. Get me my cutter, babes. I feel like Pelican's really telling us like, hey, you little shits, you're gonna, you gotta get rid of this headliner, I'm sick of it. You're not gonna do it? <laughs> Let me show you what I can do. <laughs> you know? Don't yeah. you feel that way? I get that feeling, she just shed her skin, she's like a lizard. Yeah, she's like a lizard, that's true. <laughs> and so just like that, after two hours of vacuuming, removing the headline, and trying to get as much grim, slimy, sticky thing off. The room is ready. And I don't mean ready to host. I mean ready to get painted. I know Max doesn't want to paint it. I do. I mean, what am I, are we gonna be like, hey guys, hi Rachel, hi Jack. You guys wanna come in on our boat and sleep in this slimy, grimy room? No, we gotta paint her. 
Who wants to sleep in that room? Not me. So if I don't want to sleep in there, I'm not putting my friends in there. Hi, Poopy. Hello. You're back. Hello. Come, come follow me. Just want me to let you know you're an amazing lady. Mm. And you're so, so dirty. And stinky, yes. Okay, guess what? I want to paint the room. Okay, here. Come here. Imagine. Hi friends, you guys want to hang out with us? Come on our boat, it's really cozy. Just sleep in here. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to come on board? Okay, we showered. My hair is clean. It's time to cook some dinner. This day has been very busy and it's gone very fast. And I just feel like life is going really, really fast right now. And that's good. But it's also important to take a little minute to feel present and appreciate what's going on. Because like I said, you don't understand the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And this is definitely going to be a very intense memory. And I just can't believe that we've made it here. Because it's been a moment I've been dreaming of for a long time. And we're prepping. We're getting ready for the lifestyle that we wanted. And can't believe it. Look at that sunset. It's so beautiful. So, let's cook some dinner and uh, clean this mess of this place that I call home that does not feel like home right now. How was your shower? I know. I know. And there it is. There it is. Look at that. Look at that healthy, healthy meal. Dinner. She made me dinner. Isn't she such a power woman? Isn't she? Isn't she such a... Isn't she such a good power woman? Morning. We got woken up with a knock on the door. It's Jim. I'm here to clean your fuel tank. The secret to a good day is good love. around get the dirt in the water out and put the clean fuel back in oh nice pumping it out do, 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 do. all the way here through so they said that we're gonna be able to see the before and after fuel to see how nasty it was down there it looks like a fresh cup of kombucha it's got a little bit of sediment in it but not very not very much okay Ooh, that's good news yeah We may have a buyer for a car, so it's time to clean up. Let's see, hopefully we sell it today. See you later. <sighs> it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. We're selling pre pre. The guy that we were gonna sell it to drove off with the title. He paid us, we paid him back the money and he was so frustrated um, that he drove off with the titles and now we have to file a police report. <laughs> We're going to resume the day and catch up with you guys tomorrow and explain what happened. Because what happened is still happening. We're still not finished with this. So it's been just a crazy day. But at the end of the day, we have family, we are safe, we have love. I'm grateful for that. So, good night, see you tomorrow. Mwah. So I'm gonna sage out the house. Sage me, baby, sage me. Bring some positiveness in this situation. This is gonna look very weird on <laughs> I'm sure some of, some of you guys sage. Come on. No? It just smells good. 
it smells good and it brings good vibes and it gets rid of the bad energy and today it's gonna be a good day okay I'm gonna get an uber and get on with this day we got the money everything's fine we sold the car should we say buy the pre-pre one last time uh, I'm done I don't want to see her ever again it was really not fun. Okay, let's let's get home. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Want to catch him up? Yeah, give me two seconds. So, why are we here? What have you been up to? Well, we sold the car, guys. It all worked out. We sold the car. We're back. We're carless, and it's uh, we went to Home Depot, and it started raining on us, so we're wet. But it's time for dinner. It's been a difficult two days, and to make me feel better, Max is gonna make me bolo, right? I am indeed, I'm gonna make some bolo. Good morning. You know the routine by now, it's coffee time. I'm gonna drink my coffee, do my crossword puzzle, and then clean up this place because you know the saying, messy home, messy mind. I don't know if that's a saying. That's my saying. Is it a saying? Yeah, okay, Marie Kondo. Messy room equals messy mind. Never read her book, but she's got a point. So all these YouTubers have this magic power that when they jump, they can change their clothes instantly. So I'm gonna try to see if it works. Maybe we're starting to become real YouTubers, who knows? Let's see. Now I guess it doesn't work. I still have my clothes on. Maybe I need to like twist, turn, I don't know. Would you look at that? It worked. Whoop, whoop. I can change my clothes instantly. <laughs> Let's get on with this day, okay? Oh, look who's here. <laughs> morning. Oh, is that the morning dance? It's so cold and dark in here. Why are there no lights on? Sorry. Living in the black, you're like a little... Gremlin. Yeah. I live in my gremlin cave. So this has been a three month, well, basically since we got the boat, we've had this issue with the fridge. First it was leaking free on, I had to seal it. And now I've replaced the fans. So, so I'll show you the fridge. So I replaced it with a kind of an electric, did the cables, I soldered those together. Will that work? Will it be enough to cool? Um, and we'll see. If not, we're gonna have to get another fan. So this is a spare one. I basically just replaced it with this. I really hope it works. Hey there, how's it going? What are we doing? Just explaining the scam. Oh yeah. This is such a long thing, isn't it? We tried to sell our car and we stupidly backtracked on it. When a tow truck came to tow the car to this buyer's address, we had already signed the title and he had paid us. Mm -hmm. The tow truck guy said, look, I see this every day. All you need to do is change the 12 volt battery. Don't sell it to this guy. He's trying to scam you. Uh, just change the 12 volt battery. So we go to the buyer and like, hey, do you mind if we reverse the payment? Uh, I, I kind of want to give this 12 volt battery a shot. And he was like, no problem. Just pay me back my money. That's what we did. We shook hands. We were friendly with him. And he took the title, he drove off and then texted us. If you want our title back, you have to pay me $500. If not, I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll tow, tow your the car. car. Short story is that we went to the Toyota garage, was broken like originally as it was as we listed it as a broken car. So we called him up and he basically sent his friend over who came, checked on the car, paid us in cash. So we actually got the full amount of money. I don't think he like, took the title on purpose. 
then you just was like, oh, I have the title. How can I make the most of this? You know, like I, I got that title. It has my name on it. I can make some money. Like it wasn't planned, mm. you know. No. And he was. They gave us. He paid for the car, so it wasn't like a. He wasn't like a professional scammer. See you next week. We'll be sailing next week. Hopefully in the next video, which will be pretty cool. I don't think so. Yes, we're gonna take this boat out to sail next week. Oh, Rain, we're but gonna... not. We're not setting. Sail. No, no. But we're gonna do some test sailing with the new Bimini and new 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 halyards. Jib should be up and. Uh, We'll catch you in the water. See you next week. Think about something you're grateful for. Mine is a cup of tea. <laughs> I've seen a whole bunch of insects fly in, and I was bitten to beep by mosquitoes yesterday. You don't have to beep yourself. I can add the beep. <laughs> it's just an endless loop of stress in this household. What are you doing? Are you eating our ditch bag food? No. What are you doing? Are you eating our ditch bag food? No. It was in there. It was one of the old ones. Oh. Later on, I still need to try uh, Hawaiian pizza with anchovies. Cause Monday morning is back to the band of sin. Need to drink water, guys. Water. W A T. E-R Whiskey Alpha Tango Whiskey Alpha Echo, Tango Echo Romeo Romeo Why magic mic? It's kind of magic mic with the two I'm so clean, what do you mean? <laughs> See you next week We should maybe not do one where we hug all the time Yeah, okay <laughs>